once again tackling the epicness that is Terran Victa. Let's get the main screen turned on. Hey, where's my game capture at? Try that again. Reset it. There we go. Hey, hey. there, we've got a game now. Oh, today is going to be a big day because literally in one in-game day, we're going to be fighting the main alien base. Very excited about that. Um, the aliens are hacking in, that's why we can't do that. Yeah, and if I look a little bit uh, disheveled and sweaty, it's because I've been having to run in and out uh, for the last little bit. Um, I've got someone here uh, cleaning the uh, the gutters on the house, and uh, I may have to run out uh, in a little bit to uh, to talk to him briefly, but we'll, uh, hopefully that'll line up at a quiet time in the game. We've got gift subs coming in. It is the final day of September. If you were thinking about subscribing, uh, you get some great deals going on right now with Twitch with September. Uh, that is very good. And we're getting some gift subs. We got Red Pandalorian who sent some, some gift subs before we went live. We've got Cathal doing it right now. Poor old Cathal. Can't believe they got booped in our game. RIP to Cathal. But that's okay. We've got the Cathal Memorial Station somewhere in there. Why is the gutter guy watching stream? I know, right? Um, I Maybe he's more of an FPS gamer. So... Since the last stream, I did go and advance the game a little bit. Very little things happened, uh, despite the fact that we've gone from March to November in between here. Um, did, you know, mostly just kept everyone on automation, made sure to hide if anything was going on. Um, we did unify uh, Ukraine into the European Union. So we had, we had um, added them to the Federation a while ago, but now they are unified. So from... I think this pinkish border is China, right? Yeah, Republic of China. So the bluish over here, all this is European Union. All this is European Union. All that, all that, all that. We've got Portugal doing its own thing, Switzerland doing its own thing. UK's part of it as well. That's all unified. Not that it really matters. We're kind of cool with everything going on on Earth. Everything is fine. Uh, I guess I did get one little drama lump. One of our stations, one of our like empty stations that we we're just using to like fill an orbital and prevent other people from getting there got taken over um, by, uh, well, the protector kept trying over and over and kept failing, which is funny. And then eventually the servants tried and succeeded. Uh, so then I just immediately blew up the station and am re rebuilding it. I'm going to put, I'm putting civilian um, quarters or whatever they're called on there, which gives you an increased boost against takeover. So they're just, they literally just exist to occupy the, the territory so other people don't go and set up stations. And I mean, I know we've got a few, including the initiative over here, which we don't like, but whatever, it's not a big deal. I don't care too much. Um, and I caught, I think, a couple of single fleet ships um, out in space as well. Now, meanwhile, what's going on with all of our stuff? Well, first of all, we still have the so-called goodbye to the, the sun. The one lone ship with like, I don't know, no engine or something like that, which also can't be scuttled, which is a little bit annoying, but anyway. It's going to eventually leave the solar system in 2055. We don't care about that. Um, we had a couple of fleets called Uranus Strike 01. Also, over at... Um, let me pan over to this. Uh, well, this one is here. Where is it? That's the one that's just parked. Oh, Albiorx Defense. So over at Albiorx, which is where we've got our... I think what we call our Jupiter Shipyard. Um, we've got a fleet over here. This had been called... This was one of the Uranus Strike fleets, and then we had another one coming here to rendezvous and merge up. Um, this one, these ships I've left behind because they are the Grave Wishes. I think they're Grave Wishes that only have 200 Delta V, which is not terribly substantial. So they're just chilling out here as kind of a defense thing. Um, and then we'll see. We might do something else with them. The Marines are, are chilling out over here as well. Um, the... This station also bit, built us a bunch of new Skyfeller class uh, dreadnoughts, which have the 1.4K Delta V, quite chunky. Um, they are making a beeline to Oberon. Oberon is the moon of Uranus, where the aliens have a base and a mining base. Uh, so right over here, Uranus Sky Strike is just about to reach it. That's our Skyfeller fleet. Following behind is Uranus Strike 01. This is our Grave Wishes that have the 400 Delta V. So what's happening? The Sky Strikes are arriving. They're going to build a um, a little station. I'm, I'm sending them to a different orbital. So the alien base is in the low orbit. I'm sending this fleet to the high orbit. We're going to get them to plop out a space station there for refueling purposes. Uranus Strike is going to arrive later. I think it arrives in February. It's going to arrive over here. We'll merge them together. Then we'll clean up Uranus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, 
And for all I know, the Skystrike might be able to do it, but they do have a fully armed and operational battle station over there that can do some scary things. And I don't want to lose too many ships, so we'll throw in the extra Grave Wishes over here as well. Combine, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, we might lose a ship or two, but overall, it should be okay. Now, the real action is in the so-called Alpha Strike fleet. Way over here, which is just about to arrive at Lucent. Now, I think I did the same thing where I didn't send it directly to a space station. I think what I did is I sent it to an orbit, a different orbit in here. And the same thing, we'll poop out a little um, a little base over here so we can do local kind of repairs and reinforcements and things and play it by ear. But the, the idea is this Alpha Strike is going to hit Lucent, which is the primary alien gateway. What I'm hoping, and I don't know how the aliens work. I don't know how they build ships. I don't know if they send ships through their wormhole or if own, it's only resources. If they send ships through and we can constantly like stop those ships from coming through, and then in case the only place where they can spawn new ships is at space star stations, of which they have very few left anymore, theoretically that's going to slow down the rate at which they can lo reload themselves. Although they do have a massive fleet uh, parked at one of them that we're going to have to go and boop. Um, we can't actually eliminate the Alpha Station currently because we need Genesee here. Specifically, we need the org that is equipped on Genesee. But Genesee's super fast hot rod, Corvette, is parked at Earth, ready to make the trip out here in something like two weeks. It's gonna be a ridiculously short time. Once we've established that there's some safety here with our Alpha Fleet, we're gonna send Genesee out here and we're going to blow up this base. Now to win, we still have to go and bring the, um, right here, we have to bring the alien fleet strength down below 25%. It's down to 69%. Um, I guess we blew up some more stuff since the last time we checked. That's okay. So cool. Or maybe, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just 72 to this. I think it was over 80 at some point, but we brought it down some. Um, and if certainly the aliens control nothing on earth, which is good. So that's currently the plan. And yeah, it's going to arrive there tomorrow. So I think we can go ahead and unpause. The only resource and exotics can come from this base. Okay. Oh, Okay. Repeat this project, please. All right, we have arrived, so let's take me here. And yeah, so we are in, we're actually in low orbit. Maybe there is just the one orbit around here. Oh no, there's two. Okay, so we're in low orbit, which is the same orbit as their thing, but there was a, there's an empty orbital. So we're gonna go and poop out a platform over here. We'll call it the, the alpha base or Omega base, let's call it the Omega base, Omega station. I like this. And yeah, we'll just make sure it's got a space dock set up ASAP, and then we'll probably upgrade this to a full tier three station. Um, although to prevent the power from dying at some point, we could make a, a jump directly from a tier one to a tier three, but that would shut everything down. So we probably will do the, um, the slow upgrade from a one to a two, a two to a three, just to make sure that nothing stays shut down. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only place exotic comes from is so once you blow it up, the aliens are limited to five exotics. And in theory, so will we, but it's fine. It's gonna be okay. Um, and yeah, it has to be blown up, and we'll want to we'll want to blow up the mining station as well. But that's gonna be the idea. It's uh, so it's already popped this out. Now the question becomes: Do I want to do anything with the Alpha Strike team immediately, or do I just want to babysit the Omega Station? I kind of think, and it's not going to take that long for the Omega Station to be built. I think we wait for that to happen. We give ourselves a chance to refuel, start the next round of upgrades, and then we do some strikes. But ah, it's debatable. I guess let's take a look at what's here, right? Alien Station Able over here. It doesn't have any fleets parked. Now, I think this is the thing that we can't eliminate. We can attack it and I think destroy all the, um, the battle stations but I don't think we can eliminate the core. On the other hand, they also have a mining station over here, yeah? They have two. Is it the surface base that is their actual wind condition? But yeah, I am wondering if what we do is we just go and do some, um, some bombardment of the ground shit. The ground, you're saying the ground station is the actual alpha thing. So we can blow this up. Okay. Let's just in case there's something really bizarre that happens. Let's do a quick save. We'll do a safety save. Mostly because it would be insanely annoying to fly out another fleet. 
we could do it. We could build a whole new... Well, we wouldn't have the exotics, so we'd be building non-exotic uh, ships and fleets. But we could do it, but no, let's not do that. All right, so let's go and engage the alien station and see what's the deal. The surface place that has the wormhole. Huh, how odd. All right. Engage. Start battle. Let's go for the high wall. Nope, great wall. Should be boxier. It's basically what I want. I want the boxiest possible configuration. Good. Um, yes, we can go to the higher speed here. Confirm. Because they'll outrange us, so we do need to close the range at some point. Which could be another example of, like, maybe we go and give ourselves just a slight acceleration. Close a little faster, just to eliminate the time where it can shoot us, but we can't shoot back. So I think I like that. Um, we'll set a primary target for this station, which is already the case. It's already going to be targeted first. Actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll set a primary target for one of the furthest ones. Because what will happen, it'll default to shooting the closest one um, at first, because this will be the first thing that comes into range. Then it'll swap over here. Yeah, I think I like this. Because what we want is we want to avoid having too much of a big volley sent to just one station when after a couple of seconds of firing, it's probably already dead. Okay, here comes the incoming fire. I think these might be plasma rounds because I don't see we, our point defense isn't going out. So these are not magnetic rounds. They're probably plasma rounds, which is why they're so difficult. There we go. The firing has begun. And there'll be again, there'll be a retarget at some point over here. There we go. The First closest one is done. Boom, 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 boom. Let me set a new primary target now. I'm going to swap to, say, this one. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll swap back over here. Is our structure intact? Oh, we'll get. We'll see on another screen if we lost anything. We got a few people damaged. No one destroyed. Excellent. We'd be nice to get maybe like a tally somewhere. But good. Okay. Take me there. Oh, yeah. You can't actually do anything yet. Wait until you become operational again. Good. Now take me there. So now we'll destroy this hab. Because we don't have any Marines with us. No exotics, which is a darn shame. But okay. Now. I still haven't really witnessed us taking damage from the ground passes. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen but I haven't noticed it. We could play it safe with a high level bombardment, which is presumably longer, but maybe a little safer. But I'm thinking about the low level stuff. Okay, there, there we go. This base is actually called Alpha. So presumably we can completely obliterate the Cobalt Guardian base, and we should. It's got 2200 firing, but again, I haven't, I haven't witnessed anything here. So I'll do this. Finding Quill because of Cosmeteer. Hey, Astro Boy. Oh, you're that new. Hey, welcome to the channel. Yeah, Cosmeteer is beautiful. Like, I just love the UI, the design of it, the everything. You know, I'm hoping for more sort of epic lady game stuff, but beautifully put together. Okay, so we're going to try this. We're going to do a low-level bombardment of the Cobalt Guardian base. All right, well, that was close. That was quick. And we don't get a damage report or anything. So, yeah, I have no idea if this is fine. But it seems okay. Now, I'm going to do one more safety save because I still don't understand the bombardment at all. And I don't understand how it interacts with the alpha base. And I don't want some really weird bullshit thing to happen. But a little bit of bullshit is going to be acceptable. So we're going to try a low-level bombardment at the alpha base and see what it does. It has one unknown facility. What I'm hoping is that we still destroy something like, say, the alien mining complex. Right? And at least deny them that. Even if the whole base can't be destroyed, that's fine. It had ended. I think nothing happened. We can repeat, but I'm... Oh, no, there we go. Destroyed. Everything is destroyed except for the actual core and the unknown facility. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Beautiful. Yeah, so now I think I can bombard it day and night and nothing will ever happen. 
We do have more calling ships. I could poop out some more platforms, although I don't think there's any real reason to do so. So we might keep an eye on this to see if they rebuild their mining complex or something. So, so everything worked the way that like it seemed like it should. So we're just gonna go and redock ourselves to our Omega station and wait for the ship platform to be built, start upgrading, and then also start refueling and repairing this thing. Okay, so the next action that's actually gonna happen, here we go, I was gonna say just wait for this, hit continue and chill out over there. So the next action is going to be the um, the Sky Strike, which may or may not, I didn't want to open that screen, may or may not do any action in and of itself. It's about to arrive at Oberon. So um, uh, I think it was Meow who pointed out that there is a branch of weapons we haven't explored yet, the sort of ion branch, and we're going to research down that tree. We probably won't end up using it, but we're going to research down and see what the deal is. So Electron Lance leads to ion cannons, um, so we've got to wait for that to show up. So we're just going to go back into, say, operations research for now. Polar Vortex, stupid w global warming. I have to say though, the USA, man, we have done such a good job fixing the USA. The USA, um, not only is it a perfect, perfect like democracy and all these things, um, it also has perfect 10 sustainability and is removing like global warming bullshit from the atmosphere. Um, you're welcome, America. I should be on the ticket down there. I mean, I wasn't born in the United States, but Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. They'll make an exception for me. Temperatures plummet as the polar vortex expands over Seattle. The polar vortex is a large area of low pressure and cold air surrounding both of the Earth's poles. It always exists near the poles, and for the most part, it's held in place by air currents or jet streams. I feel like we got this event already. Um, however, these jet streams will at time weaken and shift, which allows the area of cold polar air to spread towards the equator, uh, causing a rapid and sharp temperature drop in areas it expands over. Sorry, I was uh, writing on some, working on some book stuff because my voice got a little bit overblown with uh, some of the extra streams and contents we did this week. But um, so I was working on that and I had to decide at some point whether I was going to go with toward or towards, which are both perfectly acceptable, but you want to be choose consistent. Um, and so I've got that on my brain over here. Let me chat. Do you prefer toward or towards? It's my understanding that the USA Canadian sort of more of a standard, but of course it's loosey goosey is toward and the UK standard tends to be more with an S, but they're both completely acceptable. You just want to be consistent. Yeah, see chat's going to be fairly divided over there. Mm <laughs> hmm. Um, so anyway, let's deploy some heating subsidies and limit some damage. I mean, we've got over a million bucks over here. What a joke. All right. Sky Strike has arrived in high over in orbit. So first thing we're going to do with Sky Strike, Sky Strike is poop out a platform. Ruler of the skies, colonize Uranus. We got an achievement for this. You know, I, and I'm going to just call this Uranus Station. Actually, hold on. Erectum Station. Over here. And yeah, we'll just drop in a space dock. And now we're going to evaluate whether we're actually going to do an attack with this fleet. So this fleet has, I mean, only 110 Delta V left, but it's perfectly fine for operating in this area. I really hate that. You've got to do this for the buttons. So there is a station here, and it does have some fleets defending it. These fleets are not very impressive, right? One fleet has one large ship. This thing here about 2K strength. Um, I mean, we've only got the 1.1 strength K strength on paper, but we are very low Delta V because we're nearly out of fuel right now. So that's lowering our apparent number. They've got all their Delta V because they're parked, so it's higher. We might do okay, but with only six Sky Fellers, I'm not entirely confident. So I think what's going to happen is we are indeed going to wait here. And we've got another fleet coming this way. It's supposed to arrive, I believe, in February. We can check. Uh, you're gonna strike one. Yeah, February 28th, okay, end of February. But it's showing up over here. By that time, this station will be set up as well. So we will have a resupply repair uh, point that we can retreat to. But mostly it's gonna be about merging these two fleets. Not this is gonna add that much more, but I'm gonna feel pretty confident at that point. And we're gonna wanna whack the heck out of this. But for now, I think we'll keep Sky Strike parked over here for safety and just establish this base. And then we can keep an eye out. Like if they go and deploy any of the fleets here, well, I won't be able to chase it with Sky Strike until 
we have refueled it at Eurectum. Um, which, I guess, when does this get built? The 9th of December. And it will take a while to refuel the fleet with just the one station here. But, yeah. I think I'm pretty pleased with this plan. And then here, if I could get a super duper extra fast forward, that would be nice. Hey, Ion Cannon is up. So we're just going to go and swap out over here, research the Ion Cannon, and go through that tree just to see what they look like. That's basically it. Go. Ion Cannon, project complete. And then we can just go back over here. And we should get a pop up about a new tech soon. There you go. I mean, we're really not going to use this, but you know what? What the hell, right? These particle lances. Sorry, these particle lances. Can we colonize Neptune and Pluto just for giggles? Yeah, we could. Um, oh, yeah, someone could Iran. I was like, okay, fine. And they, they do still have nukes, which isn't great, but... Okay, back on Earth, we've got to go and check our counselors. First, we check Ready to see if mission. any of them have been Standing spotted, on. and the answer is no. There was a bit of a scramble. When the servants did go and take over my Ready. one space station, they got intel on my counselors, so everyone had to go to ground. Well, except Mage Natrium, which I didn't realize, he doesn't even have a go-to-ground button. Like, he actually cannot into ground, which is fine. Where to? How old is Mr. Natrium at this at point? Service. Like, he's been around for a while for us. 66, like, damned impressive, my dude. Damned impressive. Um, I'm just going to give you some more command over here. Like we got some more XP we can spend on people. Um, yeah, God. Some people are just so high up in stats over here. I think it'll be the same thing. We'll just keep giving you some extra command because we might end up using it for some. Oop, not espionage. Radical, same thing. Uh, here, and you've got two ticks for it. Gene C. Um, part of me is thinking, oh, maybe we should just give you a lot of science because we're going to send you in space. Actually, now, hold on. Yeah, I got to send GT in space now. I didn't think about that. Um, it's a good thing I'm, I'm thinking of it now because it's like, oh, this would make sense. Or maybe we do espionage. Although once you're in space, does your espionage really matter? So I don't think science will matter either, but I think it will, it sort of makes sense to me to have them have the science focus. They do have Janus section attached to them, so they do have the closed gate mission ready to go. And we got a spy over here, which doesn't have maxed out espionage, so we could also go security, but I guess I'll go the espionage first, so you don't get spotted as often. And it's, you know, in your title. And then Rudvin, um, you know what? Let's give you espionage, again, to make you spotted a little less frequently. Okay, so we got that. And then, yeah, we've got to remember with Jeansy. Standing by for orders. Please to... Um, Oh, there it is. Orbit. I didn't. I just didn't recognize the button. Uh, can we put you? There we go. We can put you on Gene C's hot rod. Excellent. Launch is a go. Launch is a go. Gene C's not going to have an escort. Gene C's defense in space is going to be raw speed. Surely that's enough, right? Surely. Oh. I guess we're going to find out. Lending my expertise. Offering assistance. <laughs> Lending my expertise. Maybe this is why I've been investing in command points answer. for some of the other leaders. The particle lance is done. The waiting for Gene C to get to space. Speed is armor concept didn't work out for HMS Hood. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. We'll just wait till the tech pop ups again. Arrived at my destination. Okie dokie. Take me there. Jeansy's hot rod. Transfer. Here. Uh, no. Loosen. There it is. Omega Station. Five weeks. Five weeks operating at 1.4 G's the entire time. 
The thing is, they could really detach. If we're going straight to Lucen, they could just detach some of their fleets just from there. <laughs> we're going to find out, baby. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. Transfer is on. Wee! Oh, repeat project. Hold on. Hang on. We do have a project to change, but what do I do here? There's Gene C's hot rod. Vroom! There's an alien fleet just parked there. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, Antimatter particle. Okay, actually, let's open research for a sec. Change project. Do the spinal lance. Change project. Do the antimatter particle cannon. There you go. Vroom! It'd be cool if we actually could see their actual velocity. Because the acceleration is 1.4 Gs. But what's their actual velocity at this point? All right, Omega Station. Perfect. Good, you've got that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start on the orbital core upgrade. And then uh, the Alpha Strike Group is going to begin a repair and resupply. Yeah, okay, it's about the same timing. Oh, are we... It is a turn thing. I was like, why is it not moving? Why is Gene C's hot rod no longer moving? You're already past the orbit of Saturn. I'm just saying. That's crazy. Hey, Yo. is anyone detected? No, no, no. I mean, if Gene C gets detected at this point, I mean, I don't think Gene C can be assassinated currently. So this all seems fine. Yeah, 1.4, 2.5 weeks gives a velocity of... That's a good question. You know what? We can... Uh, I bet you we can ask AI. A ship accelerating at 1.4 Gs for... What did you figure it out? 2.5 weeks? It would reach a velocity of what? Question mark? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Um, 20,000 kilometers per second. What is that as a percent of C? About 7% the speed of light. <laughs> yeah, you'll accelerate half the time. 2.5 weeks. It's a total of five weeks to get there. So we're accelerating. Well, technically we're accelerating the entire time, but some of the time is a negative acceleration compared to the um, vector of our velocity. But we're accelerating for two and a half weeks in a straight line first, reaching about 7% C. Then Gene C is going to do a 180 turnover and start decelerating. <laughs> I'm actually using Claude for this. Uh, and they might, they sometimes still F up. Absolutely. Check the math. Um, Yeah, so our assignments are good. Let's go. Oh. But yeah, but it's Gene C. At your service. Like, surveil your location. No, no, just confirm. Affirmative. Like, Gene C doesn't have a job. Gene C's job right now is to get swole. Right now, in the gravity. Offering assistance. Mm -hmm. Offering counsel. Uh, there we go. Platform core. Good. And you've got that. Oh, yeah. This is your rectum station. Oh, yeah. Same thing. We're setting up the upgraded thing here. But also, that should mean that Sky Strike, there we go, can do a repair and refuel. Okay. Oh, I think the dude needs to talk to me. The uh, repair person. Okay. Let me go. Well, uh, sounds like I think a kiss for luck is checking the door. I'll let Ava look at it. And then if uh, if the gutter cleaner needs to talk to me, then I'll do that. Um, whatever. Actually, I've been mostly going no sanctions, but. Vroom. New construction module in Dion Station. Oh, yeah. Dion is one of the places where the aliens like to build um, mines, too. So, you know, maybe we'll upgrade this in preparation for. It keeps being a hot spot. We got to clear out Neptune at some point too, but that's okay. Sky Strike is repaired. That's good. Um, I'm not planning on doing anything with Sky Strike right now. It is still getting the Uranus Strike 01 fleet coming towards it. Oh, 
Oh, are we doing another assignment phase? No, time's still ticking. Oh, there it is. Okay, Dinsey's hot rod is still moving. Oh, right, it's moving slower because it's decelerating. Beauteous. Planning phase. Okay, tell you what, since it's a planning phase right now, and since we've got a beautiful little cliffhanger, let me go. I'm going to force an ad break now so it doesn't bug us in the middle of the action. And then I'm going to go upstairs and check the door and make sure everything is hunky dory. So I know it's a few minutes early than our normal uh, commercial break period, but we're going to run it now. We'll make sure that everything is groovy so that we can focus on the action. Everyone get up, stretch. Oh, hold on. I got a message on Discord. Okay. Um, yeah, get up, stretch. I'll be right back.
Okay, hi folks, thanks for being patient. Ooh, glasses have tinted up from being out in the sun. That's all dealt with. Gutters are all cleaned, ready for the coming winter. Woo! I hope everyone entertained themselves. I can, I can barely see now. Gotta wait for the glasses to untint. <laughs> yeah, jeansy has been cruising. All right, let's quickly go and take a look at our assignments. Assuming no one has been spotted by anyone. Ready for and they have not. We're good. We'll Ready confirm. For... We'll get the warning because GNC doesn't currently have a job. That's okay. Quill RPing men in black. Yeah, I should do all my streams like this. I'll have that cool factor that I've always been hunting. Making things safe for our people. Offering counsel. There you go. Particle ex antimatter particle cannon. Lending my expertise. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Jeansy's Hot Rod completes transfer. Cool. So, you just resupply. I don't think there's anything to do until Jeansy gets another action. <laughs> Ten units of antimatter just to refuel that thing. That is ridiculous. Okay, take me here. Now, so we don't see. I wonder if we have to be in orbit and not docked for this to work, like, I can't bombard while I'm docked. I have to undock first, and then bombard becomes an action. I'm worried that Gene C's action is going to come up, and they won't have anything to do. Because we're not in the right place. I guess what I'll do is I'll have Gene C's uh, Hot Rod join our big fleet. Because we want to keep it protected. I mean, there's no one in the vicinity, but what if? So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to merge you into Alpha Strike. And then, I guess, oh, finish the repair and resupply. That seems fine. And then what I'll do is I'll undock. Yeah, it's a mission phase action. I'm just worried about that action not being available if I'm docked for some weird reason. It might not matter, but what if? Oh, he has to be landed. Oh, well, there you go. Umbreal. All right. Freaking alien bases. Unst, 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 unst. Okay, Jeansy's Hot Rod repaired. I mean, it's Jeansy's Hot Rod and all of their escorts. So, I'm just going to undock. Well, you said you have to land, huh? Land on surface. I wonder, like, how would I know this if you guys weren't telling me? I guess I would try and it wouldn't work and then I have to try again. Activate the device to shut down the alien wormhole. We must assault the alien base and land first. Okay. Now, this base, everything is still destroyed. Okay. I mean, maybe I should just land Jeansy's. Hot rod by itself, then. These fleets are all going to have the wrong name, but that's okay. Romeo 437 is actually Gene C's. Did I do just do a safety save? Let's do this now. Watch, watch, I'll misclick and Gene C will just die from something random and stupid here. But I will land you on the surface at a Alien Base Alpha. Yeah, Freya's Reach. Freya's Reach. Land. Well, we have to destroy their ships to win. I don't expect this to win, but I'm hoping I can still do it. Maybe that's not how it works, but let's, we'll find out. So I'm going to rename this to Alpha Strike. Major flooding in London. Uh, give them assistance. All right. You have landed. May undertake operations there. Okay. Let's wait. Yeah, we're hoping that this works and cuts off their supply of exotics. So that they can't build more ships. Or at least not more good ships. I don't know if they build non-exotic ships. Inst, 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 inst. Okay, where is Umbriel? Oh, is this an orbit of Uranus? Oh, you know what then? Hang on a second. Um, 
Sky Strike. Yeah, you're fully refueled. You're going to Umbriel. Right over here. You're going to engage the station. Blow it up real quick. Hang on. That was slightly dumb. Because now I can't cancel Sky Strike's command. I mean, it would have been the great bait. I wonder if I had just undocked and gone to another orbit if they would have grabbed me. Because, yeah, I wish I could cancel this burn. I don't know why you can't. Why can't I tell Sky Strike? <laughs> Actually, never mind. Never mind. Turn. Turn around. Where the hell were you? What's with this port? You were in orbit of Oberon. You're going here. What in the Kerbal? All right, whatever. Well, it's been done. So we'll lose you, Rectum. Can't cancel Burns Orbital. The math gets too complicated. Yeah, okay, fair. Although, there's weird stuff than like what happens after you do a burn to intercept someone. But yeah, I guess it's because it never tracks your current Delta V. And it assumes on an intercept, you've been reset to zero. They will regard this as a declaration of war. Omega Station. Oh yeah, you got your central core, which is great. So now what's going to happen is you're going to get a bunch of fusion reactor arrays. You're going to get a pair of lair defense arrays. And you're going to get some more shipyards. I'm not going to upgrade anything because I don't want anything that's currently there to turn itself off. Um, and then I'm going to upgrade the center to a ring core over here. Nice, right? No, give me, give me my toolbar. There it is. Do a low-level bombardment of this mining base. Now you're going to return to Oberon, annoyingly. You're going to return to the high orbit. And we'll have to poop out a new base there again. With a new space dock. And you're going to return your... We're sitting around waiting for that other fleet to show up. So we can blow up um, everything around Oberon. Right over here. We wrecked him with vengeance. This is what we could call the station, huh? So we're waiting for the mission phase to come up so that Gene C can theoretically do something. Gene C. The counselor cannot undertake the mission because there are no valid targets for it. Targets for this mission may be invalidated for many reasons, including local combat units. Oh, we might need Marines. No combat units present to conduct mission, not an ass enemy asset. I mean, I don't think Gene sees an enemy asset, although who knows? Um, I expect while we blew up this site from orbit, It has Marines. In case you don't need Marines, you just have to complete your faction objectives. Oh, to launch the Council mission to win the game, you must first fulfill the following goals. Okay, so yeah, we can actually do the Gene C thing right now. Oh, boo. Okay. So we do have to do the fleet destruction, destruction first. All right. Sorry, Gene C. Why don't you go ahead and... Uh, let's don't do anything, actually, right now. I'm Anyone here. Anyone spotted? At your service. No. Okay. I'm here. Affirmative. And then Ready Gene C's for my mission. Uh, hot rod, which is this one here. We're going to have you launch and just park yourself in orbit. 
launch to Omega Station. Alright. Now, Omega Station, yeah, doesn't have its defenses yet, so Alpha Strike definitely has to stay at Omega Station. Which, it's currently in orbit, but let's make sure to specifically transfer to Omega Station. There we go. And guard this. We could send Gene C home, but I don't want to risk it anymore. Offering assistance. Lending my expertise. Offering counsel. Oh, good point. We can upgrade the hot rod to have rangers. And just take care of that itself. Maybe. Hey, Quill, pay attention I don't know if we'll have the numbers. But we could also just build a ship. This is going to give us... Uh, I think these are worth 10 each. 10. So this is 20, so this actually wouldn't be enough. This wouldn't be enough. Plus, I mean, we still need to blow up all the objectives as well. What's going to happen is we're just going to build some marine ships in, in place from Omega Base. So yeah, an Alpha Strike at some point will be able to wander out and do some stuff. Beyond Station. Yeah, you're getting your upgrades as well, which is good. Um, there's no one parked here right now, so actually we can afford to um, do the Fusion Reactor upgrade. It stables a few things, but that's fine. And we'll get you a couple of Laird Defense Arrays. Um, I'll build a new Nano Factory that you can have too. Boom, 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 and then we're going to upgrade to a core three. Keep this one here. Good. Okay. But there's no mining going on here. I think they only have one mining base right now. Okay. A oh, bear station, extreme earth. Yeah, these are just little placeholder things just to prevent enemy factions from being able to claim stuff. Yeah, we will definitely be building some transports out here, just not right now. New Navy for the EU. All right, cool. Good. Spinal Neutron Lance is done researching. Excellent. Very exciting. Yeah, I don't think it's going to change Violence any of our designs. Is abating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just going to wait until we've got some more space stations or some more uh, stuff over here. And then Unistrike, at the end of February, Unistrike gets to Oberon. They're back at Umbriel. All right. That's fine. Now, what's I think going to happen, once we've got the defenses set up over here... Hmm. Stupid orbital damage. Oh, it ran our random placeholder places in Ursula. I mean, it doesn't even matter. But I don't know. Maybe we go ahead and we do, like, spend some time upgrading these things so that they don't get instantly booped and we have some resupplies spread out. Yeah, we could build something in Umbriel to prevent it from, from doing something. Uh, Yeah, more stuff around Umbriel. That's going to have to be okay, though. We'll just chill for a little bit. Enemies are planning. Where do you need me? Just double check the detection thing. Ready for orders. Acknowledged. Okay. Standing by. Offering support. Lending my expertise. Offering assistance. Hi, Oberon Orbit. Good. Okay. Yeah, you're being rebuilt. So you won't die again this time. Well, we could do a bunch of non-exotic fleets. We do have plenty of metal and we have some command. One thing we could do is we could try some just like some YOLO, like nuclear missile monitor, uh, monitors or something like that. Right, things that aren't expected to survive. Although it'd be nice if they survived because then we'd be able to get the exotics from it and then build better ships. Things are stabilizing. We'll be able to mobilize the Sky Strike. Um, sorry, the Alpha Strike, as soon as the defenses are set up over here. 
Yeah, just like the old Max Norse. Or maybe we go line level up, because I think those were monitors. We could go one stage up. Cruisers, I don't know what they'd be called. Excellent. Okay. You're going to rally it with Sky Strike. And then you're going to resupply. Over the course of six days. Nuclear torpedoes would be a good job at just taking out space stations, I think. I already told you to join Skystrike. Fuse, but okay. And you finish your repair and refueling. Alright, we got some defend interests. Which will be taken care of with our automation here in a second. Oh, I rendezvoused not joined. Uh, that was why. Okay. Uh, not spotted, Reporting not spotted, in. not spotted. Gene C should Reporting never get spotted. In. Okay, everything looks Reporting fine. In. Affirmative. Where do you need me? Lending my expertise. All right, so this fleet here, our with its 10k, my can definitely go, I think, and take on Concord Station over here. Yes, it's got its apparent 20k. Although, oh. Oberon Station, or Limu Station, which, yeah, we'll rename. Uh, if I can spot it here. Um, I'm a little worried about you getting sniped while we're away. Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Retro, go. Fido, go. Guys, go. Control, go. Telcom, go. 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 Although we're not leaving the planetary system. If they blow it up again, it's going to be from the fleet from Umbria leaving. Oh, maybe we just wait until we get the tier two and some token static defense. It might just need to upgrade your rectum to a ring station. Hey, oh, just keep repeating some stuff. That's fine. I know we're probably fine. I kind of, I kind of just want to go. We'll, we'll be a wimp and do a safety save. But in the interest of keeping the action going, Sky Strike. So, yeah. Oh! Oh! Their fleet's moved out! Well, some of them did. Oh, Triton Orbit. Huh. All right, whatever, let's go. Yeah, I wonder, can we intercept one of these guys? Um, ah, I got rid of our bottom bar again. Again, we're not on the latest version of the game, so things may have changed, but... Victor 29. It'll use up almost all of our fuel. Yeah, I don't think I'll do it that way, but I'll, I'll target Victor 16. We might get a cancel. Engage. Okay, they're still at the station, so we'll start the battle. High wall. Oops. It's from our foes, not our friends, that we learned the lesson of building high walls. Confirm. Go. The same sort of behavior. We'll go ahead and set a primary target on one of the battle station bits. Maybe move slowly to snipe. No, it's the opposite. The station outranges us. We actually want to room faster. In fact, um, I might do the thing again where I give us just a little bit of a speed boost. Just a tiny bit. So we can close the distance. Hey, Metas. If we were using um, missiles, well, I think they just have they just have weapons that I think with like a twelve hundred range. I think they've got some sort of plasma weapons, like a twelve hundred range or something like that. 
Yeah, these shots are going to do quite poor. But once we get in range of the battle stations, I'm going to focus fire on that. Looks like that may be what's happening now. No, that's still scattered, I think. Oh, no, there's the battle station started to take some damage. Actually, no, we haven't gotten in range of the battle station yet. Never mind. Is it just taking random shots? The range of my weapon is 1,000. How's the battle station taking damage? Is it getting hit by stray bullets? Are the physics simulated that way? I didn't realize missed shots can do that. Ooh, the Princeton's taking a lot of damage. I mean, of course, these aren't Skyfellers. They're not our toughest ships. one of our engineers. Oh, we did lose the Normandy. Oh, no! Which actually was a Skyfeller. Yeah, it's not all Skyfellers, but no, okay, we actually took a surprising amount of damage. We did get 15 exotics, which will partially repay. Well, actually, comes out ahead of our losses, since the only, I think only this one costs exotics, but that's not great, man. That was much worse than I'd hoped. All right, destroy the hab. Do a low level bombardment of this base. And now retreat to Eurectum's Revenge. There you go. Begin repairs. Groovy. Omega Station's got the ring core now. Get them a farm. I'm tend to put in one residential module just to make it harder for people to control. Oh, hold on, that's a we need to do level three agricultural complex. Say so that number doesn't match out. So civilian complex, for example. In case someone tries to do a space control, a control space asset mission over here, which would be annoying. So let's do that. And then mostly it's going to be a whole bunch of space works. There you go. And then some of these things from level one don't have a direct upgrade. We'll deal with them afterwards, but set this up. Um, actually, what I can do immediately is one of these two point defense things. I still want one to happen fairly quickly, but I'm going to replace one with the battle station immediately. Spring blizzard. Yeah, I know. Global warming keeps being an issue. Current resupply, 8th of June. It's going to take a while here. Yawn station. Yeah, it's coming along. We could go up. It does have the ring core, actually. You know what? Nothing is being used here right now, so I can go ahead and do the upgrade to those tier threes and otherwise just let it keep chooching along. Ursula Orbit. Did I click Heavy Fusion right first? I did. It was a mistake. One of those. One of those. One of these. A little more of that. Do I have idle fleets? Oh, wait, the alpha fleet. Now, Albiorc's defense is just because they were mostly slow moving. But these alien ships moving away, any chance that there's a sweet target nearby? No. What we need to do is we need to mass to hit Patroclus. Uh, and I sort of think we might mass over at Saturn. 
I wonder if Patroclus... Nah, they've got a mega fleet over there. Yeah, we might just mass at Saturn and then go with, like, every single ship over here. Especially if they have no stations to retreat to. It will be our big final assault. I guess a bunch of probes have arrived somewhere. Oh, I'd love a button that just lets me dismiss all these at once. There we go. Revenge. Getting straight up to a ring core. Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, that sucks, because now all of our ship repairs over here are stalled. I guess that's going to have to be okay. Yeah, GNC moved faster than all the probe cores. Yeah, there's nothing near here. I could also just send you into series. Like, it might turn out to be an easier way to get the Patroclus. At your service. Okay, not spotted. Oh, hang on. Rudvin has been spotted. And their auto behavior doesn't auto go to ground. Oh, hello, lag. Initiating deep cover. Radical, you're Where cool. You High Grove, you're cool too. All right. What's the up? I will help them. Lending my expertise. Kill the umbrella base. Well, that was going to be the plan with our uh, sky strike over here. Um, but. It's currently stalled a little. I mean, I could split some things off. Like, I could split off the damaged ship. Because, yeah, it's repair and resupply is done. We'll probably still hit that base before it gets repaired. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense. Hold on. Um, if I split the fleet, drop off this guy. Actually, yeah, I can just drop off all the Grave Wishes. Keep them on defense at your rectums. And then the Sky Strike, which is all my super fast high range sky fellers they can go over umbriel and yeah I'll just make sure to wipe this out destroy hat got enough delta v we might be able to snipe some of these flyers around too Yeah, there's also Neptune, which some things will definitely retreat to. Uh, that's fine. We'll leave you. Gene C's not on the planet. Gene C is in orbit at Omega Base. Enjoying being the queen of the castle. There you go. Omega Shipyard. Just got a crap ton of stuff. Including some defense here. Oh, that's just upgrading to a tier 2, but that's okay. For what was potential base, does that mean building ships almost available with killing aliens? Um, I think each alien killed is going to be more progress than each alien than each ship built, although we could put out a few here. Not a lot. You have to choose exactly where we build them because we don't have a ton of exotics. Although, again, I could build some non-exotic base ships. So it's not... It's... I, I'd say it's about half as valuable, but certainly still valuable. Like, what if we did go... What can we see at a glance what we have that doesn't take exotics? Like, for example, we're not going to be building these Grave Wishes, Block 3 and Block 4s, because they're not as good as our Skyfellers, and they take exotics. So, in fact, I'm going to go and remove those completely. Our best bet is probably just slapping out a whole bunch of Block 2 Grave Wishes. And we could build basically any number of those. Or we go into ship construction, or sorry, ship design. Let's say we still want, um, well, let's say we don't do the, let's do say we just do the, the missile spam thing. 
and build huge fleets of those. We research some antimatter weapons, but that's not what we're concerned about. And we don't even know if they're better, but mostly it's the engines that's a concern. Let's say we do still go Dreadnought. And then for our power plant. Antimatter Plasma Core Reactor 3 is our best power plant that doesn't use exotics. So we'll put that on, which will filter what drives we can use. In which case, we're looking for high exhaust velocity. So our best bet here is the Advanced Antimatter Plasma Core Torch. Which, likewise, doesn't take any exotics. Can only build one? Yeah, that's just the way it works. Oh shit, yeah, no, it still has crazy Excel. Oh, there's probably not enough power from this thing. Um, no, 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 no. Let's say we're building still fairly similar to what we have been doing. Uh, so we want the Siege 2. And then for hull weapons under lasers... We want the big 360, but not the phaser, rather just the arc laser, which doesn't take exotics. We're gonna we're gonna see what it does. We might not have enough thrust once all is said and done over here, but we're gonna see what we can do. Um, and then we're gonna do a couple of these and a couple of those, and then under utility modules, we want salvage bay wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, that takes exotics, but not much. I'd be willing to throw that in, actually. Well, actually, this is great. This is fine. This is actually insane delta. Oh, there's no armor yet. I don't think I can type for that. That's what it is. Now, I don't know how much Delta V we really need. Obviously, this is not going to be very fast. You know, if these don't cost exotics, maybe I don't need as much armor either, you know? We'd be like, build them around like a half armor design. If we do this, they have about the same Delta V as the Grave Wish Block 3s without using exotics. Kind of okay with this. We have a name in our... Uh... Name in game queue from today. Uh, Cage. Cage is gonna call stand for kill hard. There you go. Kill hard. It's K H. So this is a design. You have non exotic engines that are better, but maybe obsolete. I don't think so. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. So the other alternative is, so the monitor over here was good as a missile thing because it wasn't like no-nos, it was all just the flank things. Um, now that's the size two category. I think the cruiser is if we want to do a missile thing. Oops. Yeah, size three. Yeah, I think the cruiser is the next size up comparable. Oh wait, I was looking at the utility slots, not the all Battleship. Well, Battleship is size 3. The cruiser just has tons of utility. The Battleship has less utility, but more hull weapon slots. So this could be another... This could be a potential for, like, a missile ship. If we want to think of it that way. And, like, for a nose weapon, for example, what I might just do is put a couple of small... Um, like, a couple of... These guys, for example because they can do some point defense fire. I might still want 
a couple of actual point defense phasers. And then after that, for missiles, uh, let me just sort by damage. Uh, these torpedoes. There you go. The Olympus ones. So if you look at the sticks and the Olympus, all their stats appear to be the same, except that the Olympus ones go a little bit faster. So I can obsolete the sticks anyway. There's also the, the missiles, but torpedoes is probably what we're looking for. Like we could add a bunch of those on there, for example. For utility modules, we got a little bit of flexibility. Like, oh, we didn't put repair bays on the uh, the kill harders, but I guess that's going to be okay. Um, oh, there's the antimatter torpedoes. That's true too. But I don't think we bother. Maybe not with the repair bays and salvage bays, because I think these might be a little bit disposable. Um. We still want the, probably still want the Hydron Trap. And then maybe a couple of magazines. Oh, there's another utility slot back there too. Interesting. ECM targeting computer. And then same thing, the best power plant. And then we'll throw that in there and then we'll give it a battery radiator. Armor, 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 armor. And again, it's smaller. And this is very much like once they've fired off their stuff, it really doesn't matter. I don't think they'll, they're they they're really going to have... The, we don't necessarily care about flanking attacks on this. We need this to survive a few hits from the front so it doesn't instantly disintegrate. Shit, no, this speed is still good and fine. I mean, we could target 1.4k uh, Delta V here, which is in line with our... Um, with our Skyfellers. The acceleration isn't quite the same, so it still slows some things down. In practice, you can probably pull back on that a little bit. Salvage does get you more exotics from winning, yeah. We want some salvage, but you it caps out. You can only put one per ship, and it caps out at five total for the battle. Um, and so if we went to the battle with some Skyfellers, which all have it, I believe. Well, maybe they don't. I don't know. Um, hmm. That's not bad. <clears throat> Antimatter torpedoes. Let's research them. I'm not going to start constructing anything Reporting quite yet. In. Standing by for orders. Rudvin's fine now. Ready to go. Your orders acknowledged. Offering counsel. Lending my expertise. Yon station. Offering counsel. Lending my expertise. go ahead and build what we've got now. I go to Ebiorkrix with Saturn shipyards here. Let's build a bunch of these kill hearts. Was it the battleship? Oh, this ended up being a dreadnought. Oh, I didn't name the battleship. Hang on a sec. Well, the kill arts are still good because the kill. Do we use the missiles? Because the missiles gives the point defense a target. I guess the point defense already has a target. Now that I think about it. These guys we didn't get named. Okay, that's, which is a little disappointing, I gotta admit. 
I mean, I can still do it, but I'm lazy, so I won't. I mean, I could wait for the antimatter missiles too, but no. Start round one over here. Sure, we'll have enough command. All right, I'm gonna call that good enough. You're at Umbriel. You're doing a little of the Martin, my friend. There we go. And then. Oh, okay, there you go. Say, how come there's still an icon around Umbriel, but it went away? It's just a refresh problem. Let's send you back to Oberon. The rectum is over here, which is going to be able to refuel. Actually, you're fine on fuel. Tons of Delta V. You can catch these runners. But expensive. All right. I mean, obviously, this is the biggest one. Three weeks. You know what? That's probably fine. Yeah. Let's pull back a little. Sure. Meet them in five weeks. That's fine. Save a little bit of fuel. You're escaping towards Neptune. I guess the other thing is, what if I just sent Sky Strike over to Neptune? What kind of shape is Neptune in? So all around Triton. That's not very much. I bet you we could beat these guys. Oh, but no, but they're around a station, which assuming the station is constructed. Yeah, and it is. Then it won't be enough. Although we could park ourselves in a separate orbital. With Sky Strike. Shit, same orbital. We can go into low Triton orbit with Sky Strike. Hoop out a base. Build some defenses. And then Alpha Strike can come over here too. Let's blow up some ships along the way. Well, along the way. I, I'm, I'm worried that it's going to reset our, our momentum here, but let's see what happens. If I do this, let's just see what happens. And yeah, the Grave Wishes are still parked over here by Eurectum, so it is going to be fine. To leave without defenses. We've moved the needle. Assuming if it was using like full realistic orbital mechanics, this intercept should be giving us a lot of Delta V to get us towards Neptune as is. But I suspect it kind of resets in between. So I don't think we'll be able to use this burn to get us closer there, but we'll see. Uh, construction module. Okay, that's Omega Station. Let's do that. That's fine. Now, once Omega Station is close to getting its first battle station, we could leave even before that's happened um, with our Alpha Strike team, just because there's no one in the vicinity. In fact, it might be fine to leave now. Like, it's going to take the aliens a while to get there, but what if? And it would be really annoying if that got reset. Um, that damage is pretty ridiculous with these antimatter missiles. I think it's probably overkill. I think the nuclear missiles, like a single hit of a nuclear missile, kind of gets the job done. Maybe the antimatter missiles are faster, can take more hits. I suppose that would be some value. The game. Oh, say so why is the game paused? But this would be why. Standing by for orders. 
open assignments. You're fine. Standing by for orders. Your orders? Yeah, we're all good. At your service. What's the op? You're closing in. Offering assistance. Lending my expertise. Yeah, it'd be great if we could just delete these guys on the way without losing any of our actual Delta V, but I don't think it works that way. I wonder, these Marines over here, it might take a while, but can I just send you to... Uh, I guess it's here, right? Oh yeah, they have some new stuff set up. I just sent you to Omega Station. It'd take you a year. I don't, uh, it's, it's not gonna matter. We can just build shit faster than that. Yeah. We don't really have a target for the Marines. We're just leaving them out there for now. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Revenge. Yeah, I can be upgrading things now because we're not actively using anything here. So do that. Base works. Fusion reactor, fusion reactor, shipyard. Did I not build you any static defense in the queue? Okay, that's fine. Need a battle station. Maybe maybe I'll build. Say. Okay. Oh, it's combat value, right? If we use the antimatter missiles just to boost our numbers, that is interesting. I didn't think about that aspect of it. Where is a Bjork's defense in relation to everything that's flying around right now? Okay, no, not very useful. Okay. okay. Let's engage. They'll try to run, but we'll fail. Now, I mean, we don't have a lot of stuff here. Max speed, confirm. Light, tiny speed boost. Go. Set a primary target as the Dreadnought, because we'd prefer having our slow fire weapons target that first if we can. Let's go. We designed a big ass full tanker with new fleet and have it follow them around. All the result. It's awkward. I mean, you'd have to have them part of the fleet. And then you still have to do the share fuel in between. It doesn't happen automatically. It doesn't extend the range of the entire fleet automatically. These guys might be annoying if they just stay at max range. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we can do with these guys. We may have to pull them back, but we'll see. There you go, just a monitor left. Zap, 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 zap. Alrighty. Okay, thank you. Give us a few exotics, would you? New fuel tank will still use all its fuel in the fight as well. Oh well, if we're auto-resolving it, you'd definitely use it in the fight. It'd be annoying. Okay. What's that? This battle, I wanna. Hide this, thank you. Okay. So you still have Delta V, which is great. Like, from here, in theory, we have very much the same base velocity as Victor 28. I'm gonna use 300 more, that's not bad. But I think what would be preferable is at this point, is something like we go and park ourselves in a... They're in low triton orbit. I mean, we could do the same thing. I could just go into low triton orbit, 
not actually engage the base, poop out our own little base. In here, I don't think we have to leave any Delta V. Um, speed actually kind of is of the essence. Um, it's only half a week later, but... No, let's do this. Confirm. Should keep booping them simply way. No, but booping the tight like a single ship or anything like that isn't going to change the numbers in any real way. What we have to do is we have to take out these stations where they're building and we, we are hoping to engage a giant fleet. Ready for orders. Standing by. Ready. Standing by. Offering support. Okay. Now, Alpha Strike. Lending my expertise. What was Offering the date support. over here? Alpha I will help station, them. Or Omega Station. Thirteenth of September. And there's no one in the area, yeah? No, I don't want Omega Station. I was clicking on this target over here. Give me news on this place, thank you. Yeah, they might be able to make it here. I really wanted to play Alpha Strike. I suppose what I could do is I could split Alpha Strike in half. Probably I don't need to leave a ton of ships back here to dissuade them from attacking. Yeah, there's still an icon here because they're ground station, which I can't d d obliterate until the game ends. Is there not a split half? Some of these are dread classes. They're not even the sky fellers. What if I just leave these four behind? About three and a change K strength. The the um the aliens seem very very nervous about initiating an attack. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to leave behind one of these flags. Although there was a dread flag as well. But that'll bump us up over 4k. I think I like this. So that's at Erectum. Waiting for that to get rebuilt. Right? And you don't have that as an option. Yeah. So over here. Mega defense. Okay. Alpha strike. Transfer. They're probably going to scatter. Let's save us some Delta V, give us some options. You spin me right around, baby. Yep. <laughs> Shipyard for Omega Station. It means we can start constructing an Omega Station, which I propose we do. So, with that in mind, 
Let's find our currently unnamed Calavera class. Upgrade you. Um, Kill Harder is what I'm going to call this one. So it actually has a name. I'm going to remove these missiles. Antimatter Torps. And they do accelerate faster. Or they do have a... Yeah. Um, the columns aren't lining up. They have more Delta V. Their acceleration is the same. They have more Delta V. Invalid refit. Oh, this counts as a different class of missiles. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll just design a new ship from scratch. Maybe still more battleships. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It will do the weird thing where it saves it. Also, I dropped one extra antimatter torpedo launcher than I wanted there. There you go. So again, semi-expendable. Oh, it was when I overwrote the... Hang on. I didn't realize it would overwrite that. Maybe I right-clicked one too many times. Oh, that's weird. It will let me click add and override that slot. None of the others. Just that slot. Why? There you go, valid refit. Okay, and yeah, this is this is all about just kill. Not survive, just kill. So, ship construction over at Lucen. Oh yeah, you're unpowered. Well, this one's powered. So unfortunately, it just kept the name Talavera. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start building it, even though it's not super quick. Yeah, it's gonna need a lot of antimatter. That's fine. Antimatter, I'm fine with spending. Yeah, only level one. But if there's some others that are coming up, it'll be fine. Skyscrite's moving, good. Is he, from here, if we clear this asteroid, then Alpha Strike Group can move to Neptune as well. There we go, you wrecked him, and there is someone parked at you wrecked him. Station. Battle stations. I don't know if you ever got a. Okay. Get back to you with the last slot. Slots over here. Um, is it Romeo? Is that Oberon? Good. So now you can do a repair and refuel. Get that started. Gonna call you Oberon so I remember where this fleet is. But you won't have to stay there much longer. Yeah, at some point they will have nowhere else to run. Which, I mean, it would be nice to pick them off when they weren't a super huge mega fleet, but at the same time, we'll be a super huge mega fleet when we go and face them, so. Oh, we got Xenoflora. Ready to go. Unfortunately, we don't have Gene but other people can do the Xenoflora mission. Ready to go. Your orders. Your I orders. reset you. Oh, you know, Ready you're not going to go. burn it down by default. Oh, all right. Yeah, go to Monte Heading Deo. to the LZ. Where to? I mean, yeah, a fat exotics, but we won't need the exotics anymore. If we just blow up, like, even if we lose the fight, if we blow up almost their entire fleet and they've got nowhere to rebuild, and then we can rebuild on mass. I mean, admittedly without exotics, but we can just make sure we're above their percentage, and then that'll be fine. Okay, this Oberon fleet is repaired. Now, I don't want them to leave here until this station has got 
some defense online. So we just have to leave them there for now. Although there's not actually anyone in the area anymore. Because Oberon was around Uranus, and there's no one there. Yeah, but these ships aren't speedy. They could join the Neptune party, though. Which is just a question of sending them to low Neptune orbit. Or low Triton orbit, actually. I had nothing else to do with this fleet. It'll take them a while to get there, but... They're not fast enough to ever catch anything. Yeah. I mean, if all the aliens are going to Neptune, that's where I want to be, too. Score one for the good guys. There we go. Burn and eat everything. Gene sees jealous somewhere. They love having themselves a good uh, Xenoflora barbecue. Directum's Revenge. New construction module. Actually, I'll leave the... I won't start upgrading the construction module right now because it is speeding up our other construction. Not by as much as a nano factory, but still. Yep, part at Neptune. I hear they got really big forks there. They only have three tines. Okay, defend mission. Yon station, you're fine. I don't care what's going on with you. What's the op? Not spotted. Acknowledged. Oh, Rudvin, you need to go and hide some more, my friend. We'll work on getting your espionage up, I promise. Over here. Evading pursuit. Uh, Rodical, you're cool. You can be put back on auto and do some defense stuff. And everyone else is okay. All right. Hiding is what I'm best at, says Rudvin. I mean, you're getting a little bit better on the espionage side. Hey, you got enough XP here. Let's give you some more espionage. You're at a whole 11 now. Yeah, confirm. Affirmative. That's just Gene C that doesn't have a mission. Council. Lending my expertise. Laying low in Tijuana. Rudvin, are you going to have fun there? I will help them. Going into hiding. Whoa. It is really funny when you zoom out and it, it takes a second for it to resize the graphics. Oh, okay. I don't even remember. This is Alpha Strike. Oh, yeah. This is Alpha Strike going to that place in the asteroid that everyone just fled to. Engage. Start battle. Max speed. You're going to be a great wall because you're quite big. Go, go. Go. Go, go. Um, furthest way station. Do the same thing where we do that. Send the Wally to one. Swap target. And then these guys are going to go to Neptune afterwards. And depending on how much Delta B they've got left, we could stop and build a refueling station here, or we might go directly to Neptune. Well, what we'll do is we'll poop out a refueling station. We don't want to necessarily do all the upgrades, but we can poop one out. And we could do the refuel in place. Or we could poop one out and then just run. That's entirely possible. Fire away! And we're definitely taking a little damage on the front, but hopefully nothing dying. Damage here on the Farsolus. Farsalus. not doing the thing where I'm setting targets, and maybe I should be. We probably would have gotten the kills faster. But I think they're routinely overkilling some, but travel time's not so long. There we go. Done, done, done. 
We went out, split the damage ships as protection. That's true, and we did take a few scratches, actually. Oh, we did lose a ship, the Philippine Sea. Dang. But yeah, you're gonna wait till you become active again. There we go. Now, close, destroy hab, close, poop out platform. Add the space dock. And then go through this menu to reselect the thing we already had selected. Um, I mean, the damage ships, it's not like we've taken any fuel hits over here or engine hits. We are actually fine to keep moving. Um, it's not doing a very good job doing me on things. Is there a ground station? Undock. Low level bombardment. So that's completely cleared out, and there are no ships around, so I don't think they can just... I, I, they can't just instantly have them appear. And yeah, we, we should probably, on our on these Skyfellers, probably just max out the front armor or something. They can't just randomly spawn a base, right? They must have to send a ship here, and they've got nothing doing that. So, I because what I think I want to do... Um, since I don't have a ton of Delta V left in here, and I don't want to stop to refuel, rather than try to boop these guys and then have more and more Delta V problems, I'm just going to send this fleet directly towards Triton. And take them 22 weeks to get there. Does it make more sense to refuel them first? I don't think so. I think we just go. It might be a little faster to refuel first. We gotta wait for the things to get built, and then it's gonna take a few weeks just to refuel. Now, this is fine. Let's do it. Everyone is going to rendezvous in low Triton orbit. Back to the other station. Not from Katanda, we'd have to go back to Lucen. It'd be a little further away. Yeah, five weeks to build, two to refuel. Sounds about right, but then the question is, how much would that actually shorten our transit time? And maybe it would still come out ahead, but it's fine. Let's just get stuff moving. Right, you would still take forever to get to Neptune, so we're just leaving you there. Rod, Omega Defense, that's all fine. Okay. So Skyscrack's gonna get here first. Poop out our little base. You can't capture the alien stations, unfortunately. You can land troops. They still self-destruct. Theoretically gives you more intel. Uh, Omega stations got space works and battle stations. Okay. Now that means we really don't need the Omega defense. Yeah, so I'm now going to transfer these guys to Triton, low Triton orbit. You're going to get there in 18 weeks. That's actually pretty decent timing at a full burn. Transfer. Acknowledged. Fine. What's the up? You're fine. Where to? You're good. You're Standing good. by for orders. And yeah, there's nothing for us to burn, Nate. Standing by for orders. Some people could try to assassinate. Now we're not gonna bother doing that. Lending my expertise. Protecting our interests. Offering assistance. Lending my expertise. So they still Lending have my expertise. They have still have their fleet at the other place, right? We haven't booped that yet. Okay, Dion Station is looking good. Someone's moving away from Neptune. Now, what would be great is if we can hit more of these fleets on the way here. 
and we should be able to hit some of them. And it'll be easier in the Delta V. Uh, Katonda Station. So we don't really need you to exist, but I guess I'll go ahead and start some of this. Yeah, there's a few people moving in some odd directions. Going to a Red Guardian Station. Over there. Red Guardian Station is the one that um, has the huge Ultra Mega Fleet at. Or it did. I guess we could take a quick look. If we go Fleets... Um, aliens. Yeah, Fleet 92, which is their big, huge one of 200 ships in one giant fleet, is parked at Red Guardian Station at Petroclus. Yeah, they're abandoning Neptune, which is... Fine-ish, although it'll be annoying if they go to the same place, which is what's going to happen. Um, Standing by. What's the op? Where to? Your orders? Firm, Ready. Affirmative, go. Because um, that'll be the mega fight there, but we are going to go where some of our people, like the Sky Strike, is getting ahead of these alien stuff. So assuming they've got some Delta V left, after they poop out the station, they might be able to do some little intercepts. Go, space works over here. No, you're all good. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Well, that might have been the one that was building a ship, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, unpowered, but that's fine. And then these class twos. We're gonna throw these guys in here. Perfect. All right, Sky Strike. Yeah, and I think you're going to have Delta V left. So you can probably do some of these little short term intercepts on the ones coming our way. What am I getting like a million text messages from? That's probably from the roofer. It is not. Oh. It's my sister. I'll talk to her afterwards. Uh, you wrecked him as revenge. Yeah, it's coming together just fine. I'm not too worried about what's going on there. Ship launch. Talara in the low Earth orbit. Okay, these are all going to be those. Um, what just happened here? Something behind it, but okay. Launch two. I'm hold off on that a second. Nope. No. Uh, okay, Albiorc's defense has got a ship in it that it shouldn't. Let's try to remember that. Okay. Albiorx's defense. Not merge. Split. You have... Mercury low. Almost certainly some other... Yeah. So you're going to go to Romeo 451. Romeo 451. These are antimatters from Mercury. Just so I know that I've interacted with things. You're transferring to AM Mercury. Okay, that's fine. Yurik Earth. They want to rename you to Antimatter Earth and leave you here for a second. But then Romeo here, you're going to transfer to 
AM Earth. These are all around Earth here. They do have a lot of strength on paper. Wouldn't be good for some of our math. And we have 451. Yeah, you're also extreme Earth orbit. Fine. Good. And then this one is a this is AM Saturn. Thank you for turning into Q18 AM Saturn. Oh, the latest sports ball news. You are to merge into AM Saturn. Okay. All these guys are on the move. I don't want to move these two because someone is a rendezvous and move them. But and Saturn is fine. So they're hanging out over here at Albiorix, out by Saturn. Let's see if there's any chance that they can catch Victor 1032. Likely to escape. Yeah, because we don't have a lot of raw speed. That's not what we're here for. Um, What we might want to do... Is we need to get you ready to make a move on Patroclus. Maybe... Because I'm like, we could, find, you know, pick some rock in here that's close to Patroclus, but of course they will drift apart over time. Although the ones that are really close, like here, this is a pretty similar orbit and they're unlikely to drift too heavily from one another. Of course I could go to Mercury because it's the most is closest, but let's say we go to Thule over here near Patroclus because the idea is after we're done with Neptune, we're going to come over here and this might be their last active base. They may not run. And if they do run, we could... Well, these guys won't have a lot of Delta V. Actually, yeah, because there's no refueling station over here. Because my idea is I could go here and just drop into an orbit. But the big death fleet might come out and engage me, which we don't want. Neptune brings us further away from this, which is no good. Maybe we just have all these antimatter ships rendezvous to Mercury as a most is closest. And then we coordinate. We figure out which of my huge fleet clusters is going to be the slowest. Pick that as the date of attack and have them rendezvous on the same day in orbit, merge, and then strike. That might be the plan. Yeah, these guys are too slow to catch anything. All they exist for is to strike, especially at stations. Yeah, I like this. All the antimatter fleets are going to rendezvous at Mercury. Going to AM Earth. AM Earth. Some more waiting. Oh, are we getting another mission phase here? Nope, oh, okay. Done. Okay, you've arrived in low triton orbit. So yeah, your job is to form a fusion platform. Oh, achievement. Deep blue summer colonized Neptune. Cool. I'm just gonna call this Neptune Station. On the space dock. And now they do have some fleets parked around here. I'm assuming we can't see. No. No, they don't have any fleets in the system currently. 
so and we can check, we can confirm. Yeah, no, we would see it. Okay. Then that gives me Oh, we have no Delta V though. I forgot these guys were on maximum burn. Never mind. These guys can't catch anything. Alright, so yeah, they're just gonna have to fit the, sit there. It's like, oh, we can snap snipe a few of the people that are coming this way, but no. So a lot of lines coming over here. But we From might still be able to catch some piecemeal dudes your here. At your How did our percentage change just Ready by building these ships too? 64%, yeah, basically nothing. Offering counsel. Making things safe for our people. Securing yeah, maybe if they get really close, yeah. Lending my expertise. Offering assistance. I mean, that is enough Delta V to get from Earth to the moon. But I don't think in this case it's going to be very useful. Uh, freaking thanks for the say as a sub. As a reminder, this is the last day of September, so if you want cheap subs, discounts on subs, now's the time to do it. Roulette station has got yeah, just some basics, which is okay. I might go, I might go ahead. You already got the level two over here. More power. Full air defense. Upgrade to ring core. We'll keep you around. Environmental degradation. Yeah, we'll try to fund some subsidies. The twenty-three k. It's a good thing we've got one point two million in the bank. Continue. Oh, hey, Roet. Speaking of continue, RX is continuing the gift sub they got from KH twenty-nine. It's awesome. Okay, um, Earth, you can. No, your fuel is fine. You'll do the same thing. You'll rendezvous over by Mercury. Yeah, the idea is we'd love to take these out before these ships get here. Not because we're afraid of the ships, but because the ships have to keep coming so we can keep booping them as they keep coming. Ooh, hurricane. Uh, by the way, I hope uh, not too many of you are affected by the insane hurricane that has landed in the southeast of the United States there. Where do you need me? The pictures of flooding have been... Standing by uh, for orders. Incredible. Acknowledged. At your service. Offering assistance. Securing our control. Offering counsel. Right, but I don't actually could I have hit hang on. This is Sky Strike. Could I hit the stations? Uh no, I wouldn't want to. No. Offering support. I will help them. Yeah, provide loans. Superfoods. If we do just like a small fuel top up, that'd be great, but I don't think there's an option for that. Neptune Station, Platform Core. Okay, great. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the upgrade to this core. And. Sky Strike, if I unselect you and then reselect you, you can now begin, begin your refuel and repair. 8.4 days. That's actually not too bad. But yeah, the fuel doesn't come in in like, like gradually. It's you finish the entire process or you don't get fuel. Well, I don't know. Maybe if I cancel it, we'd have some Delta V, but. Mega Station. How you looking? You're completely done. Oh, well, you still got a couple things building, but. Uh, join AM Merc. Yep. Hey, Fast Joe. Fast Joe Testarossa. Okay. These guys are not beefy enough. Oh, but now there's some st ships here. So if I leave the station unguarded, it's bad. Okay, nope. We have to continue with this. But we do have some more fleets coming our way. I mean, enemy fleets too, but we have friendlies.
Superfoods is just another study of kale and why it went from a Pizza Hut buffet garnish to something people try to eat. Yeah. It is crazy. Well, these fleets aren't going to run right now because I don't actually have any fleets going to the station. I just have fleets coming to the moon in general. So I don't think they start running until we target it. And what's interesting to me is I wonder is if we target the station with the fleet from the same orbit, if maybe we can hit them before they organize a transfer, in which case what's the up? that would be amazing Reporting and maybe the best in. possible outcome. Reporting in. Okay, everyone's still cool here. I'm here. Ready for orders. Offering support. Lending my expertise. I will help them. Lending my expertise. Extraction, that's fine. Uh, take me there. I guess you're in the wrong station for AM Merc. Yeah. My bad. Join Antimatter Merc. So Antimatter Merc, do another little resupply here. It's a 12,000 strength fleet. Fairly disposable. Okay. So the idea, I think, is going to be after we clear out Neptune. We're in target. I think it's in the middle of these. Um, where's Patroclus? Oh, they have a base around Hebe? Those are the aliens, right? Not the servants. No, those are the servants. Never mind. These are what the aliens look like. I must have just missed it. I don't remember what number the Patroclus is. Is it not one of these asteroid belts? Oh, Trans-Neptunian, is it? Oh, it is. Never mind. Uh, Trans, I don't know, whichever. This one here. Um, Patroclus. So the idea is going to be, they're all in low orbit. We can send our fleets to, say, high orbit, maybe even set up a base. Damn, see, from Mercury, it only takes five weeks to get there from Mercury with this fleet on a hard burn. And so the idea is to plan a rendezvous, figure out which fleet will get there slowest, and then the other faster fleets, we go and delay their arrival to get there at about the same time, just to try to minimize problems, set up a little refueling station, maybe, and then go and whack these guys. We'll just put, keep them parked over here for now. Battle station operational. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do that upgrade. That's gonna be fine. Upgrades and yeah. boom, 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 boom. All right, you're good. No, I don't have any ships as calling ships in the amp, but they're not the only ones going there. Are cooling off. Like the other fleets are going to go there as well. I wonder what happens if the aliens don't have a space station to go to. I don't want to go to, to Patrocus or whatever it's called with a smaller fleet right now because I'm worried they would they would just sortie and, and engage me with their big mega fleet, which is why I really want to go on mass. Hello, Lone Neptune. So I got to make sure not to um, upgrade these guys because they will be used for things, but we can start building some new stuff here. Strike. Okay, hold on. Sky strike. Oh yeah, no, I can't move you out. 
they don't run. If they're on last station, they don't run. Good. And then presumably wherever they're going would be another station. So even if I blow up the last station while there's still ships, they're probably still going to their old destination, so we can just pick them off one at a time as they arrive. I'm here. What's the op? All right, they're all good. Reporting in. I guess it's four. I guess we got to stop here. Assistance. Um, Alpha Strike, you are going to Triton. Offering assistance. Oh, you're getting there pretty close, pretty quickly. And then so-called Oberon, you get there in May, and it's quite slow. Okay, let's do let's do the battle with the Alpha Strike. We are over. It is going to take a while to get there. We'll get another week. Now, I guess we could just save this as the big drama for next time we stream. I suppose that's what we'll do. Um, our next live stream is going to be on Wednesday. We're going to be continuing our Aura run, where we restarted on a much higher difficulty. Um, and we're playing as... Not Belgium. I don't remember who we're playing as in our restart. In Aura. Germany, yes! Oh, Germany! Oh my god, okay. Also, I checked out that channel, that Hildegard of, um... Well, Hildegard of Bingen is the real person. Um... The, uh, the music channel, whatever it's called, is like Hildegard of, of Blinken or of Bling or something like that. Amazing! Amazingly cool little YouTube channel of bardcore music, sort of doing covers that, of, of popular current music that sounds like it was recorded by, you know, some group in the 1100s really really cool yeah so we got our germany going there game which has been much more interesting more challenging i'm, I'm really happy we did a restart uh and we are entering the um the second act and lots of drama going there so that'll be on wednesday and then probably on saturday as well and next week i'm trying to think if there's some special stuff going on next week i'm not sure there may be anyway we're gonna wrap it up here i should actually stop my voice is still a little Overworked from last week. We're going to give a raid to Kiss for Luck, who is playing Palia today. Beautiful, lovely, relaxing game. Give her some love, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.